Guidelines for post-spine surgery patients. A patient following spine surgery needs the specialist care and advice from his specialist in order to prevent complications. BNH Hospital would like to present the safety measures you should follow to demonstrate the correct posture and movements needed for coughing and changing sides for spine surgery patients after surgery. Breathing. First, lie on your back with head elevated to 30 degrees. Second, put your hands on your lower rib cage. Fingers relaxed and focus on the movement of the chest while breathing slowly. Third, exhale slowly. Feel the chest moving towards your body. Fourth, inhale deeply through the nose and hold for five seconds. Exhale slowly through the nose and mouth. Finally, repeat the cycle 10 times. Take a short rest after five times. Coughing. Coughing without due caution can be painful. Managing your cough will help to rid of mucus from the lungs after anesthesia, reduce pain, so that the airflow in the respiratory system can work more effectively. First, lie on your back with head elevated to 30 degrees. Second, hold your hands together and press gently towards the stomach. Third, follow the steps for breathing you did previously. Finally, inhale deeply Hold for a second, open the mouth widely and cough for three to four times. <coughs> a patient following spine surgery must follow the correct procedure for changing posture in order to prevent back muscle damage and speed up the healing process. Line posture. Following spine surgery, the patient can lie flat on his back or with head elevated to 30 degrees. Lying on your side is permitted. The posture for lying down. First, move your body up towards the head of the bed until your hip is positioned above the middle of the bed. Second, lift your knee to 30 degrees as is comfortable for you. Finally, lift your head to 30 degrees as you feel comfortable in order to do so. The correct lying posture is that the hips must be positioned at the curve of the bed. The back fully touches the bed without bending. Side lying posture. First, lie down normally. Second, bend your knees and hips towards the stomach. Third, use the hands to support the body while changing sides. Move the shoulder and hips at the same time to prevent the spine from twisting. Getting up. After the doctor allows you to get out of bed, please follow these steps. Lying on your side, bend the knees and hips. Place the knee at the edge of the bed. Be ready to support the body with your hands and elbows. 
Move your legs from the bed and use your hands and elbows to push the body up at the same time. Sit up straight and continue to use your hands to support your body to reduce the weight placed on the spine. In order to lie down, please follow the steps in reverse. Sitting. The height of the chair must be suitable for the patient. The feet must fully touch the ground while sitting. The seat must be deep enough to support the bottom and thighs. The back of the chair must support the lower spine and should not be elevated more than 100 degrees. If the chair's depth is too deep, use a pillow to adjust the seat and support your back. In order to stand up, move your bottom to the edge of the chair and use both hands to push yourself up, without bending your back. In order to sit down, please follow the steps in reverse. Patients should practice these guidelines before spine surgery regularly in order to gain both physical and mental readiness, prevent complications and speed up the recovery process.